Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at Minecraft running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U with 8 gigabytes of RAM. We're taking a look at the game right now because of the OpenGL fix that AMD supposedly did. And you can see what graphics settings I ended up going with. I pretty much went with what, everything that it defaulted to, except of course the render distance and simulation distance was changed from 12 chunks to 10 chunks. Outside of that though, everything was kept to what the, the game actually defaulted to. And the level of performance that we're getting here is pretty impressive in the sense that we do get some pretty high averages going on here. But the thing is, is that those 1% lows are suffering pretty severely at the stock 15 watt TDP here. Now, in general, AMD GPUs have historically had some pretty major problems, especially when it comes to 1% lows in Minecraft. The OpenGL fixes were supposed to alleviate a lot of these, and there is a minor improvement, but it isn't substantial, and in a lot of ways, it's still not as good as just running Optifine or any of the other optimized renderers that are out there for Minecraft. So there is at least some noticeable improvement, though when you're actually running around and doing really intense stuff where you're just going from area to area and things are loading in, it can be pretty brutal. In general though, when you're just sticking to one specific area and just roaming around every once in a while, when things are loading in, there will be those spikes in terms of those 1% lows and you'll see those consistently happen as I roam around. But our averages stay very, very nice and the FPS that we're getting most of the time is really rock solid. The only time things will really Really start to fall apart is if you're running around the map really really fast and just having a lot of things going on all at once especially if it's raining or snowing but for just a regular day in minecraft everything seems to be running really really well we can of course raise the tdp up to 25 watts and see if that can actually give us a nice boost in those one percent lows by going with the 25 watt tdp we do actually see an uplift in those one percent lows now getting in the 60 fps range and our averages are well above 200 all with the exact same settings that we were at before. Just keep in mind that, again, it's a similar problem as before, as if there's a lot of effects going on in the screen, things will start to fall apart. You can actually get really decent levels of performance here, though not as good as Optifine still. But if you're not someone that's looking to mess around with anything like that, you like to just play vanilla Minecraft, and you just don't want to go through the hassle of installing all of this extra stuff, it's no longer really a necessity for AMD APUs. For the longest time, it really was just kind of required if you wanted to get an actually consistent and good experience here so there is actually some uplift happening here especially at the 25 watt tdp where it really starts to unlock a lot of the performance here our one percent lows now a lot of the time consistently stay above 60 except for the moments where a lot of crazy effects start to happen and i'll show you that right now as you can see, while it's raining and we're just roaming around on the surface, running around from place to place, having things loading in, you'll see that our 1% lows do take quite a bit of a dip here. Now you'll see that our FPS in general stays pretty consistent, but it is those 1% lows that just take somewhat of a dip, dropping down pretty regularly below 60, even dropping all the way down into the teens. So it's not exactly an amazing experience, though the averages that we get are pretty decent. It's just those moments where things start to load in that everything kind of just starts to fall apart i would not say that it's unplayable you'll see that the frame time spikes only happen on occasion and then it smooths out very quickly but if you're running around and doing a lot of things all at once it does tend to lag behind once you stick around for one area though and you just start mining or working on a house or doing anything like that things that don't involve a lot of things loading in in the background as you're running around then things will level off and those one percent lows will start to pick up but as it stands right now with the rain effects and with running around having things loading in it does become kind of a brutal experience so it's not the most ideal situation and i think that for a vast majority of people you're probably better off just installing optifine or any other optimizer that you like to use with minecraft instead of just running it vanilla but if you are a user out there that just does not like to mess around with anything like that and you just want to keep the game perfectly stock just makes your life easier that way i completely understand and now that is an actual viable option here because we are running at the fancy graphics. We can, of course, turn things down if you want to. But personally, for the way that the game was actually performing and how things were going, I just don't think that that's very necessary. But anyways, I hope you found this quick look at Minecraft running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U with, you know, the more updated drivers and the OpenGL fix to be interesting. It certainly was interesting to me to see how it is. I might actually end up doing a video comparing it directly with Optifine 
line and see how that actually ends up doing and we might actually even see if it boosts any performance in optifine itself and if so we might actually be able to squeeze in some texture packs let me know down below if you'd like to see some shader packs and anything like that that is designed to essentially run on eight gigabytes of ram we've taken a look at those before but that was with 16 gigabytes of ram and that was really helpful in those scenarios with just eight gigabytes of ram we're going to be severely limited there and we're pretty much going to get put into a situation where we're going to have to rely on some very very low weight shader packs to boost our visual quality without actually sacrificing a lot in terms of performance so i'll be taking a look at that later on if you guys are interested in that let me know down below be sure to subscribe and i will see you guys next time